Cars gift pack released in 2010, including the Cars movie on Blu-ray and two exclusive diecasts. While it isn't the first time diecasts have been packed alongside a DVD of one of the Cars movies, it certainly is the strangest, as the two Cars are fully exclusive vehicles that have never been released again in any other way, shape, or form. Those being a very cool gold cruising McQueen and for some reason a metallic Rescue Squad Mater. Despite the fact that a special variant of Rescue Squad Mater is included here, uh, Rescue Squad Mater is not included on the DVD. The Blu-ray and DVD included are just the regular old Cars Blu-ray DVD that had been out since 2006. So for them to decide to include Rescue Squad Mater as an exclusive for this re-released special edition release in 2010 is certainly strange to me. The least they could have done was thrown Rescue Squad Mater as a bonus feature on the DVD, but they didn't. It does have Mater and the Ghost Light on it, which is what the original Cars DVD had. It was made exclusively uh, for the DVD release of Cars. But for them to include a Mater based on something that doesn't even come in the DVD, it's weird, right? Like, they went out of their way to make an exclusive Rescue Squad Mater variant to pack in with the DVD that doesn't include Rescue Squad Mater. I, I can't be the only one that thinks that was a strange choice, right? I mean, I'm certainly not complaining. A Metallic Rescue Squad Mater is pretty cool. They actually did it twice, here and once again, in a Comic-Con exclusive pack. I believe that released before this, actually. Uh, that variant had an extendable ladder, which is pretty neat. But, like, you couldn't have thought of something from the first Cars. Well, I guess you did. You included a Cruising McQueen. But, I, I don't know. You could have included anything else. Maybe, like, I don't know. You did a Gold Cruising McQueen. So, maybe the other car could have been uh, an exclusive metallic brand new mater of course we would later get that all the way uh, 10 years later in 2020 but that would have been a pretty fitting release if you wanted the mater in there special edition metallic mater maybe you could have done something special for mater and the ghost light maybe like a metallic version of ghost light ramon i know he's already a shiny car but 2010 also had metallic hydraulic ramon and hydraulic ramon red ramon is already uh shiny so i'm just saying it's a weird choice but i'm i'm certainly not complaining Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another review. Today I'm very excited to be taking a look at the Ultimate Cars gift pack which comes with a Blu-ray and DVD of the movie and two exclusive cars with custom Ransberg paint. Ransberg is another word for metallic. That's what the paint's called. They used to use the word Ransberg a lot. I don't think any kid knows what Ransberg means. So nowadays they just use metallic. Something they switched to uh, very soon after and like the following year when Cars 2 came out. I became really interested in this item while I was doing research for my McQueen diecast history episode that I released yesterday, and um, I found a pretty cheap listing for it. This tends to go for around $60 online, and I found one for only $35 plus $5 shipping. So when I saw that, I knew I had to jump on it, not only to get the exclusive diecast, but also to get a Blu-ray copy of Cars. You see, I've had this old DVD of Cars since it first came out in 2006. You can see the Blu-ray release here is the exact uh, same. All the bonus features, everything, are the exact same. This just runs on Blu-ray players instead. Um, but yeah, this is certainly seen better days. The DVD skips an awful lot. Um, and the Cars Blu-ray has a really cool bonus feature that I've wanted to see for myself for years. That being the Car Finder game, where you could go through the movie and uh, click on certain characters and get bios for all of them. I've wanted to play Car Finder for years, and uh, since I never had the Cars Blu-ray, I never got the chance to. A Blu-ray costs around $25 where I live, so to me, I was basically paying $25 for the Blu-ray and an additional bit of money, additional, what, like $15 for the two exclusive cars. So I thought it was a perfect deal and I had to jump on it. So as you can see here, we've got Blu-ray, DVD, plus two exclusive cars. And then the label here that I read off earlier. Um, we've got this nice pinstriping design you saw on some Cars merchandise around the time. As well as that very, like, strange red made to simulate sparkly car paint design they did on a lot of early Cars merchandise. You can see this has become a bit warped over the years. And up here, there's a pop-out handle, which I think is pretty funny. This thing is still fully coated in its original plastic wrap. 
But uh, now we move on to the back. We'll read the left side in just a minute. For now, I want to focus on the back of the DVD, which is the exact same as the back of my original DVD, except it looks a whole lot nicer, as you can see there. Actually, uh, this part's a little, a little bit smaller because they have to explain what comes in the two-disc combo pack. Uh, so where the bonus features are, are a bit different. Two thumbs up, Ebert and Roper. Oh, was this after Siskel and Ebert? So did Ebert move to somebody else? They were two very popular critics. Um, from the acclaimed creators of Toy Story, The Incredibles, and Finding Nemo. Hold on, I need to do a better voice. From the acclaimed creators of Toy Story, The Incredibles, and Finding Nemo comes a high-octane adventure comedy that shows life is about the journey, not the finish line. Enjoy Pixar's landmark classic on both Disney Blu-ray High Def and DVD in this sensational two-disc combo pack. Hotshot rookie race car Lightning McQueen, Owen Wilson, is living life in the fast lane until he hits a detour on his way to the most important race of his life. Stranded in Radiator Springs, a forgotten town on the old Route 66, he meets Sally, Mater, Doc Hudson, Paul Newman, and a variety of quirky characters who help him discover that there's more to life than trophies and fame. Revved up with a sensational soundtrack, the ultimate in picture and sound, and hours of exciting bonus features, Cars fire, fire, oh man, I messed up. Cars fires on all cylinders in this Blu-ray and DVD pack. So I guess the description is different. Um, yeah, look, so there, there are some differences from, hold on. Uh, yeah, they just, they, they don't flex the fact that it's a Blu-ray here, obviously, because this one's not a Blu-ray, but it does have a bit more information on the soundtrack, featuring Rascal Flatts, Earl Crow, John Mayer, James Taylor, and others, plus exciting bonus features, including the exclusive short movie Mater in the Ghost Light. Cars is full of freewheeling fun for everyone. Interesting that there are some slight differences. Uh, also, this image of McQueen is, is not on my original uh, DVD copy. Which, oh, actually, actually, it's on the, it's on the case here there on the top if you can see that anyway you can see the bonus features disc one blu-ray includes the feature film exclusive blu-ray bonus cine explorer for the ultimate behind the scenes experience i guess cine explorer car finder game discover hundreds of characters oh disney you guys are just the funniest that's the worst pun i've ever read in my life and that comes from me i read bad car pun names every day Deleted scene. Traffic school. Only traffic school? <laughs> just, just that one. Just that one. Oh, the rest are on, the, I guess the rest are on the, uh, on the DVD. I guess traffic school is exclusive to the Blu-ray. Radiator Springs featurettes. Mater and the Ghost Light Short. Now in high def. No way. Disc 2 DVD. I like how it says now in high def. When, uh, I'm pretty sure the Blu-ray and DVD for Cars launched at the same time and they both came with Mater and the Ghost Light. Maybe I'm wrong. For the DVD feature film, original DVD bonus, made around the Ghost Light short, one man band short, inspiration for cars, deleted scenes, and more. So, just like nowadays, the Blu ray comes with some different features. Anyway, Ultimate Cars Gift Pack. What I did not expect when I first ordered this was the fact that they created character descriptions for the die casts included, including unique lore. Guys, there is backstory for Golden Cruise and Lightning McQueen. There is unique lore that only exists on the box of this DVD. This isn't just any Gold Cruise and McQueen. This guy's got a story. It's date night for Lightning and Sally, and he really wants to look his best this time. So he cruises on over to Ramon's house of body art for a little wax and polish. But Ramon has a better idea and works his magic to, re to create a whole new look that'll surely catch Sally's eye and turn a few heads too. ka -chow. Cars don't have heads to turn. But okay, this is so funny to me. We may very well have just stumbled upon the most obscure piece of Cars lore ever, and I love it. Rescue Squad Mater's description, on the other hand, is a lot more of a recap of the short that's not included. Oh, don't worry, though. The Cars vehicle conforms to the safety requirements, blah, blah, blah. I like how it says the Cars vehicle, and then not for use with some car sets because Rescue Squad Mater's too big. 
Mater has been telling the tallest tales this side of Radiator Springs. Did you know he was once a fire engine? He was, and he single-handedly put out a raging fire at the Batch and Gasoline Factory. <laughs> Glad they shouted out the location. And even saved Lightning McQueen just as the building exploded. True story? Only Nurse Corey knows for sure? What? <laughs> what? Nurse Corey is in, like, one frame of the short. I assume they meant Nurse GTO. Because at the end of Rescue Squad Mater, uh, Nurse GTO rolls up and, and appears and is the little stinger at the end that reveals that, oh, maybe Mater was telling the truth. Nurse Corey doesn't know. I mean, maybe she knows. Maybe we need to pry her for secrets. Hold on. This whole time we've been wrong. Nurse Corey's been the key all along. Nurse Corey, tell us, Nurse Corey. Did the car's tunes happen? Was made a really a doctor, Nurse Corey? Was he really a firefighter, Corey? Corey! Well, it's time to greatly decrease the value of this as we unwrap the plastic wrap that's been intact for the past 13 to 14 years. All right. Looks like maybe there was a price sticker here in the past and they peeled it off. That's funny. All right. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention that I mentioned in my haul video, I think. Uh, these two are barely secure. There's a very thin sheet of plastic here, but the cars are not secured in. They could just wobble all over. And I think that's really funny. You're not gonna like damage them, you know. They are in there safely, but I really think that's funny that they didn't like throw another piece of plastic in there to secure them. Anyway, look at that. We got a handle, guys. That, I'm sorry. Could... Maybe I'm forgetting how small my hands used to be when I was younger, but uh, you are you are not gonna fit your hands in here. I don't think a kid could comfortably fit their hands in here. This is this is way too small. I mean, thank you for including the handle. I mean, I, I guess it's useful if you're going somewhere and you want to bring the car's Blu-ray. You got a handle for it, and you could also bring some car's diecast with you. You could swap these out for any two cars you want and uh, take it wherever you want to go. I like to take mine to jury duty. <laughs> I've never had jury duty, but when I inevitably get it, I uh, I will, in fact, bring this pack. I'll do it for you guys. Okay, so I, I'm, I want to be really careful. I'm really afraid of uh, damaging this. All right, okay, all right, there we go. Okay. Ooh, oh, oh, oh! It's all coming undone! I guess that's because the box is so warped after all these years, huh? All right, let's pull out the Blu-ray first. We'll take a look at the cars a little later. Uh, tune in for the end of the video. I will be popping this in to my Blu-ray player. Ooh, look at this, this is all shiny. This is very nice, wow. Look at that, this is the oldest Blu-ray I have. I actually was given a Blu-ray player as a gift for Christmas in 2011 and I got Cars 2 alongside it. So this is now my oldest Blu-ray. That's really nice. Most of them usually have that plastic shell, right? But uh, I guess not for this one. On the back, yeah, we have what we read before. We got the barcode there. Wow, I love this. This is nice and metallic. Very cool. I assume the metallic finish is exclusive to this release and inside the case. There we go. You got your typical Blu-ray. Let's see. Where are my scissors? Here are my scissors. My wonderful children's safety scissors. Come on. Just gotta peel it a little so we can open it the rest of the way. All right. Now we should be good to go. I'm very excited to get this. Uh, I've been wanting to do a video on my car's physical media collection for a while. Um, very cool to get to add something to that collection. Uh, it's not every day that happens. Okay. Still a little plastic hanging around. Unlatch it and... Ah, oh, there's a sticker up here. I thought that would come off when we took the plastic off. I thought that was part of the plastic. Okay, there we go. All right, now, uh, my original Cars DVD is full of a bunch of weird little 
paper inserts. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, we got the Blu-ray. We've got ah, the DVD, which is identical to my original Cars DVD, for the record. Except this one probably doesn't skip more times than a professional hopscotch player. Okay, what do we have here? Um, hey, Disney Movie Rewards. I remember that. Find your code, earn points, get cool stuff. Yeah, all the cool kids have. Uh, a Pirates of the Caribbean guitar. And is that like a 2010 Hannah Montana phone case? No way, I can get a printer? <laughs> no way! I, yo! Uh, I've been logging points for my Disney DVDs for 10 years. I finally have enough Disney DVD reward points to get a printer. No way! Radio Disney VIP, Grand Access. I can't tell. Is this car themed? Yeah, it is. Yep, it's a McQueen scooter. You get a Walt Disney Studios private tour. Or, you know, you could just get Jungle 2 Jungle. Or Freaky Friday, but the Lindsay Lohan one, which is not a good look, guys. Um, wow, this is how you redeem them. Okay, let's let's move on. Uh, we have a little 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 white sheet here. Um, I assume this is like the digital code. Is this before digital codes? I, I don't know what that is then. Uh, but we do have create new memories with Disney Blu-ray. You get all your favorite movies like. Santa buddies. Hey, they can't all be winners. Wow. Oh, this is literally just... This is literally just, just showing me how the Blu-ray works. Wow, look at this. Look at this. High definition picture and sound. Disney enhanced high definition. Up to six times the revolution of DVD and 1080p. Oh, yeah. Disney enhanced high definition theater mix. Up to 7.1 channels of theater quality sound. I don't know what that means, but that sounds good. Disney Advanced Durability. Blu-ray discs have a special hard coat layer that's more resistant to scratches and damage. I didn't know that. That's why these never skip. Next Generation Interactivity. Next Generation Interactivity. Immersive games, menus, and features not available on standard DVDs. Also plays DVDs. Oh, yo, I could use the plate PS3 I don't have. And get Monsters, Inc. and up. 1080p is the best high-definition source. Uh, I don't I don't believe it is anymore. I think they use higher quality stuff than that now. Wow! Upgrade your favorite DVDs to Blu-ray at DisneyUpgrade2Blue.com. You guys think that still works? Go online and select eligible titles that you want on DVD. Print out and mail in your upgrade form. Receive your Blu-ray savings coupon via email. I'd love to know when they stop supporting that. Look for these titles and more on Disney... Upgrade it, upgrade to blue.com. Snow White, where the witch is like 90% of the box. And the apple is 80%. Monsters, Inc. I, I thought that was going to be like a catalog for Disney movies on Blu-ray. I, I was very excited to rip Santa buddies to shreds. Anyway, we got some nice artwork here. <laughs> I was not expecting that image, but I know what the other half is. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, for the best part, the two exclusive diecasts. How do we get these guys out of the package? Good enough for me. Oh, okay. All right. Golden Cruising Lightning McQueen. This, this is so cool to have. Let me get off of the tripod here. This is such a cool item to have and such a cool concept. Taking regular old Cruise and Lightning McQueen, one of the most iconic special McQueen paint jobs, and making him gold. Uh, and now, as of 2023, thanks to the D100 line, we also have a silver one. You have a whole, whole rainbow of shiny McQueen colors. This is so cool to have. Of course, it's just a direct copy of the original Cruise and McQueen diecast but with gold instead of the metallic red. He's got his raised eyebrows and everything because he is a 2010 release. Very, very cool to see. This is this is so cool to see. I really, really like how this turned out. It was a very, very creative concept for, I guess it wasn't very creative. It's pretty easy to come up with this idea, but it's a very smart 
concept. We got the little lightning bolt on the side. They even made his uh, his hubcaps there gold, which is really, really cool. Of course, he is missing all the bumper stickers, just like the original, <laughs> but that's all right. We, we obviously knew that would be the case. There's a look at the other side, and there is a look at the base. I wish I had more to say about this guy, uh, but unfortunately, I don't. He's probably my favorite of the two, just because it's not common we get a special gold edition of a car. Well, it is pretty common for us to get a special metallic one. Rescue Squad Mater here looks a lot cooler than I thought he would. Honestly, I ordered this to get the Gold McQueen and the Blu-ray. Uh, I absolutely love collecting Maters, but I didn't find anything too special in getting a metallic Rescue Squad Mater. Now that I see him in person, he certainly looks really, really great. He is using that traditional metallic red that we've come to expect on Cars Diecast. They always use the same sort of, you know, Ransburg paint. But he really does pop and stand out compared to the original. Of course, he's got the exact same expression. He, once again, just like Cruiser McQueen, is the exact same, just metallic. You guys know how metallic cars work. Um, it looks like the... Wow, they even put a bit of a metallic wash over the plastic parts of him. It looks like they do appear a bit shinier. But my favorite detail of this by far, these parts of him... They're chrome. I did not expect that. That is so cool. They made these chrome. The metallic red really allows the gold embroidery on Mater to pop. I mean, look at that. That's so dull. Like, that th That looks like, honestly, doesn't even look like it's there. They really made sure that it popped out here, and it looks really, really, really nice. I, I love that chrome. I did not expect that. That is so cool. When I took this guy out of the box, I, I noticed that. I thought that was so cool. The fact that they even put that metallic finish over the plastic pieces, it doesn't add much, but it helps go the extra mile to make this Mater as special as possible. We've got his little hose on the back, the ladder. Again, the ladder does not extend. Um, there was a Comic-Con exclusive variant of this guy with an extending tire. The R extending tire? Extending ladder, and I believe he had rubber tires, is what I meant to say. R-S-Q-M-A-R, -S Rescue Mater, if you will. I love how this turned out. That is so cool. This is a plastic part, though, right? Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. But still, the fact that they decided to make it chrome. Really, really appreciate that choice. And the base is chrome, too. This is what I noticed when I was taking this guy out of the box. Look at that. Nice, shiny, reflective chrome. You could even see me. Hello, that's me. Oh, this makes my forehead look huge and really distorted. Um, how's it going? <laughs> Man, these are both so, so cool. I came into this thinking that I would love the Gold Cruising McQueen so much, but honestly, honestly, I might prefer the Mater. Yeah, it's more standard for us to get a metallic version of the car based on their traditional color, but they went... They really went the extra mile with this Mater. Gold McQueen is using the same golden paint scheme that they used for Gold Me and Tia. It's a lot more yellowy compared to the Gold McQueen that we later got in 2021. Um, and I genuinely think that I prefer that color scheme instead. Honestly, I, I think I'd much prefer... They went closer to this one. This one is more gold to me. You know, this is more gold. This is more shiny yellow, you know. But still, this looks really cool. This looks really cool. I gotta say, I think I love them equally. But uh, this is my favorite Gold McQueen. All right, we're just gonna boot this up, make sure it works okay. Take a look at the menu. I assume it's gonna be the same menu as the regular DVD, but who knows? Obviously, I can't play anything because copyright. Isn't that right, Barbie? Yeah. Barbie knows my pain. Depending on the capabilities of your player, you may experience delays of two to three minutes while the content on this disc loads. During that time, the screen might, might go blank. They were right! Oh. oh, no, we can't have that. Disney's gonna sue me. Let me just, just fast forward through everything right now. <laughs> no way! Toy Story 3? I can't believe they're making a third one, and they certainly will stop after that, right? They they will certainly not make any more. So, my original Cars DVD... 
fast forward it too much. Uh, I had previews like Ratatouille and a few others, but since this was released in 2010, it's cool to see that they updated the previews. Uh, I guess that only makes sense. You guys remember when DVDs had previews? Insane. I mean, I mean that is still a thing, I guess. I bought Across the Spider-Verse on, on Blu-ray last year, and it had like 10 ads for different Sony movies nobody's ever going to want to see. Like, no, I don't need to watch Madam Web, thank you. It looks so bad. It looks so beyond bad, guys. Okay, we get it. <laughs> we get it. Bring me to my movie. Loading. That's new. That's different. That's not on my original DVD. Okay, I assume we're gonna have that same old McQueen driving around intro, the instrumental to Real Gone. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh, that's so cool! Where's my remote? I need to make sure we don't get claimed. This is so cool! Oh, look at that! That's awesome! <laughs> so. Oh, this is a Radiator Springs, Car Finder, play the game, tour Pixar Animation Studios, see how they make movies. That's so cool! <laughs> that, that, that. that is so cool! Okay, so, if we go left, is it Radiator Springs? I assume this is going to take me to, like, Mater in the Ghost Light. <laughs> I love that reused footage. Oh, there he goes. That's in the movie, yeah. That isn't. Whoa! Ah! Oh, this is my favorite thing ever. Wait, this is so cool. Wait, I love this. This is the best. They have noses. Noses exist in the Cars universe. Wait, this is so cool. Oh, I pressed the return button and it said not available. How do I go back? Wait, this is the coolest thing. They really went out of their way. I mean, Cars was the first Disney movie to be on Blu-ray, so it makes sense for them to go out of their way, do some special things. Oh, I love this so much. This is, this is so cool. Wow, this is awesome. Look at that. Wow, we got a gaskets guy and everything. Of course, that's a parody of the old let's all go to the movies thing. Sure, you've all seen that. This is, this is so cool. I'm sorry for how long this video probably is at this point. There's so much to talk about with this. This is one of those rare items that, uh... oh, is that how we go back? Okay. I just want to see the other screen. What's it going to look like when I click to go to Pixar Animation Studios? I love how they don't have that footage of McQueen racing from the DVD, but they still have the same crusty real gone on loop. Okay, McQueen, turn this way, buddy. Ooh! Look at that. Oh! Wow. Oh, and you can still do scene selection. Oh, they even have that really cursed, terrifying Sarge concept art. Look at that. This is, this is, this is the coolest thing. I've done all week, which is saying something because just this week I went to Mars and wrestled an octopus. I don't get anything cool if I press play movie. It just, it just plays the movie. Okay. Well, okay. All right, yeah, we got it. Disney made this. Well, there you have it, guys. This is... Oh, I can't pause this. Oh, there we go. This is genuinely one of the coolest things I've ever reviewed. Really cool to be able to do a video reviewing a Blu-ray. Um, oh, turn it off, turn it off. And um, the exclusive diecasts are so great. This is one of my favorite things I've ever reviewed. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye now. Let me shut this off before it goes back to whatever was on TV before. You guys want to go watch Barbie? Let's all watch Barbie.